A report by the government forces indicated that the Houthi Musha committed 126 violations of the truce in Taiz and other areas. Violations include in flirtation attempts and targeting of government forces positions. This report has more details. The United Nations truce that was announced on the 2nd of last April included a two-month ceasefire, but the Houthi militia continued its repeated violations since the first moments of the truce on the various fronts and ties. During the first months of the truce, the Thais military sector recorded a variety of violations, including the use of various weapons and reconnaissance aircraft and setting up new fortifications. The Houthi militia has never committed by the truce. They've increased their shelling and sniper shots since day one of the truce. We record these violations every single day. There are 1,150 violations including heavy weapons, shelling and drones. The violations targeted populated areas, army positions and service facilities. The militia's violations are not only militarily, but they included civilian objects. The populated areas and the villages were subjected to continuous shelling and Houthi sniper attacks since the beginning of the truce. The latest violations by the rebels included the bombing of al Qiyada Street near Garden Seri Park. As a result of the escalation of the Houthi violations during the first months of the truce, a woman was killed and 12 civilians were injured, including children and women. Since the start of the truce, the Houthi militia perpetrates gross violations. They shelled populated areas, civilians and public facilities. They shelled areas near hospitals and civilian areas. These breaches are a flagrant challenge to the United Nations envoy, the international community and to all those who back the truth. It is not a normal thing to steer drones to attack civilians. The government and political parties in Taiz had called on the United Nations to take a serious stance towards the Houthi militia bombings of civilian objects and their continuous violations of the truce, which undermines the peace process.